What's going on, guys? It's your boy Sleazy here, and uh, you can tell by the intro, we're talking about the new Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> and of course, it's Kotaku writing the article, upset about it. But they're the ones that would call us incels and weirdos. Anywho, Apple Vision Pro, not the new frontier for uh, masturbatory technology, after all. Oh, okay. Anywho, Apple Vision Pro, the massive tech company's foray into the VR headset space that had just hit stores a few days ago, is very expensive. $3,000 expensive. Very, very expensive for no reason. It's an impressive piece of tech, hence the price tag. It's not that impressive. That you can use for working from home by virtually pinning windows all over your house. Take that return to office mandates. Going in depth into the hottest VR capable of games like Resident Evil 4 or watching sports games complete with real-time stat updates. But that's not what you're complaining about now, is it? Is it? But one thing you can't do with the Apple Vision Pro is watch VR Prawn. And fans of scintillating smut are not happy about that. And by fans, you mean yourself, don't you? Don't you? As reported by 404 Media, the VR Prawn company quickly realized that their favorite kind of content won't work on the headset. In a Reddit post on the Oculus Not Safe for Work subreddit, one user asked if anyone had figured out the Prawn on the Vision Pro. Dying to get this to work. Reddit is the most disgusting hive of villainy and degeneracy on the internet. Anyone who says on the otherwise is coping. So it goes on to say, if anyone has a success story, please tell me how. The top voted comment doesn't miss words. Worse than the PSVR2 $3,500 chastity belt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second to let that sink in, and then I'm gonna reiterate the point. These people are calling it a chastity belt because they can't watch something that is them not being with a real woman, but they're calling it the chastity belt. Okay, guys. There's a hack for playing VR files if you have an AVP, writes another. It involves restoring it to the default factory settings, boxing up, selling on eBay, buying a Quest 3, and pocketing $3,000 difference. Let us know how that works. I guess that's actually a very adequate workaround. However, I would just return to seller because uh, fuck Apple. That, that's my thoughts on it. Because the Apple Vision Pro allows you to use web browsers and place them virtually in the real world, you can still navigate to the hub and watch as many regular or air quotes flat prawn videos as you'd like. Is there a whole thing on types of viewing of Okay, and this article has gone completely off the rails. I have many questions that I do not want answered. Please don't answer in the comment section. I'm begging you. Please do not leave me a comment about this stuff in the comment section. But VR prawn, which is often shot and viewable in 180 degrees, who the fuck is wearing headsets to view? No, don't answer that. Cannot play on Apple Vision Pro, something VR enthusiasts have long force since the device was announced. The day before Apple Vision Pro's February 2 release, an R Vision Pro post titled My Last Night Suffering. This, whoever the fuck you are, this is just the beginning of your suffering. Please get help. Please. Unfortunately, travel to the new frontier of technology appears to be on hold. As 404 points out, the same person hoping for that new frontier then founded the our Apple Vision Not Safe for Work Reddit, though it's not surprising that VR Prawn apps are not available on the headset. The late Steve Jobs said in 2010 that those who wanted Prawn apps on their phone should buy Android. Apple has destroyed what Steve Jobs wanted Apple to be. Like, legitimately. They've legitimately destroyed it. So I'm going to leave that one alone because that's a long rant and that's not what this article is about. So continuing the article, what is surprising is that none of the, I'm sure, enterprising young men trying to watch the VR stuff have figured a workaround yet. 
404 Media points out that Apple started supporting WebXR and application programming interface used for VR and AR devices on its in-house browser Safari back in 2022, and the Vision Pro supposedly supports that API. But perhaps there aren't too many VR app makers optimizing vids for the less popular browser. <clears throat> so ignoring the not safe for work content, everybody hates the Apple browser. <laughs> Everybody hates it. Nobody cares about it. Nobody wants to use it. That's, that's an amazing point in this article. Everybody actually hates Apple. But they're still generic consumers, so they consume the Apple straight into the arm. IV bags that are 50 gallons. Just give me that Apple product, but we hate Apple. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, back to the article. So give a few weeks, VR fans. Redditors have already reported some success in rejigging the advanced Safari settings on their Vision Pro, and as 404 reports, one person has been downloading WebXR clips and converting them into formats that can be played through Vision Pro's file app and is sharing them on a dedicated Discord. Of course, they're using Discord to share adult content. Of course. Because it's Discord. The entire company ran by furries and communists that absolutely hate anybody who isn't involved in the most degenerate of tendencies, including illegal stuff. Discord is as bad as Reddit. Though the videos are reportedly not that great, there are issues with aspect ratio and with clips not feeling like a proper 100 degree... Oh, I'm glad Kotaka just completely, completely came out and said they're the worst people on the planet. I'm glad they did. That's why I have made this video, to make fun of these absolutely degenerate incels. Because that's what the people writing these articles are. They're absolute incels. That's what the people using this are. They are the real incels. But they'll turn around and comment in the comment section how uh, I'm a homophobic, bigoted, racist incel. You know? Ignore the fact that I haven't watched my videos and that's obviously not the case. Or the people who know me. Who know of my uh, my deeds while I was in club promo and doing DJing and being a bartender and a bouncer and working in restaurants. Yeah, you know, ignore all that. Just the, to try and shame me into thinking of their worldview. Too bad it doesn't work and I know the truth. Because you know what? There's a reason I have a tattoo that says death is nothing compared to vindication. It's because your opinion doesn't matter, Kotaku. And all your degenerates, their opinion doesn't matter to me. Only vindication does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done being an edge lord now. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I assume that you guys aren't paying $3,500 for a shitty VR headset. But if you are, leave it in the comment section. While you're there, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. But until the next one, guys, be easy like sleazy.